Hi, I'm Gordon Klingenschmidt. I am your candidate for House District 15, state representative in the Powers Corridor on the east side of Colorado Springs. And today we have a breaking news update about the transportation issue we identified in the previous video. Now listen, I'm a lifelong military veteran. I have an MBA, I'm for smaller business, I've founded two corporations, I'm for lower taxes and less government. But if there's a couple of things that the government ought to do right, it's like law enforcement and uh, fire prevention and roads. We all drive on roads and so transportation is a valid part of the budget. And I'm wondering uh, if you saw our previous midi video, why don't they have a signal at the corner of Mark Scheffel and Dublin? I did, as I promised, investigate this. I met with the city transportation manager, Kathleen Krager, and I have good news to report. I got to the bottom of that issue. And if you watch until the end of this video, I'll tell you the good news that I heard from Kathleen Krager. But you know, I, what I learned by meeting with her is that it's much bigger than just one signal. And we all drive on these roads and where does the money come from to maintain our roads? Well, as far as the state legislature is concerned, there are two big pots of money. There's state money, which we pay our state taxes, and there's federal money. We pay taxes to Washington DC and some of that comes back. And here's what I learned about the way the state funding is managed, and it's a big problem. Number one, there are no block grants being given to cities to manage our state roads. Since 2007, what they call the seventh pot of money is empty. And the cities like Colorado Springs are left to fend for themselves and maintain their own roads without state assistance, even though we're paying state tax dollars. This leaves many of the state roads unfunded. For example, Powers Boulevard is originally designed as a state road, and yet today that funding has been abandoned by the state and now it's being maintained by the city. If you go to the PPTRA website, it says, oh, Powers Boulevard will be maintained by the state in case of future development. In other words, it's now being managed by the city of Colorado Springs. So this gets back to my original problem that I identified is that zero of your tax dollars are coming back to maintain the roads of House District 15 from the state funding. Now somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I can't find it, it's not out there. I know they're doing, CDOT's doing some projects on I-25 and good for them, but don't forget the east side of town, I'm here to represent you. What about the federal money? We send money to Washington DC and some of that comes back to Colorado. Well, did you know, for example, 15% of the population of Colorado lives in the Colorado Springs area? About 60% lives in Denver, 15% here, and the rest in the surrounding areas, including Pueblo. But of that, only 9% of the federal funding is pledged to come back to Colorado Springs. And here's the memo signed by the CDOT and the local area representatives. But did you know, even though they pledged to give us 9%, we're not even getting what they promised. We're only getting 7.5% of that money is coming back to Colorado Springs. And that's after CDOT takes out its overhead. So again, this is a problem. We're not getting our fair share. Here is a picture of Kathleen Krager, and here's the good news. This is one of the heroes of our city. And I met with Kathleen, she's a tireless servant of the people, and she is responsible as the city transportation manager for the signal at Mark Shuffle in Dublin, and here's the good news. To, you, to all you soccer moms who are stuck in traffic trying to get across a four-wheeling highway with no signal, she is way ahead of us. She has already identified this as a crisis signal. There are four signals in the city that are in the crisis stage to demand funding, and this is one of them. And so by this summer, the good news is she promises there will be a signal there. I want everyone to call her today. Call Kathleen Krager at 385-7628. Again, that's 385-7628, and say thank you for her foresight and for working to help people, uh, to help us in House District 15. Listen, if there's one thing that this election is about, it's about experience. Who has the experience? I'm 45 years old, Air Force Academy graduate. I have an MBA. I'm gonna get to the bottom of these transportation issues because I'm already an advocate. I haven't even won this office yet, but I am your advocate getting to the bottom of these issues and transportation is one of those things your state government needs to be responsible for. Please visit gordonforcolorado.com. Again, that's gordonforcolorado.com. Sign up for our email list and make a donation if you can. God bless you, we'll see you next time.